Hey, it's Melissa from Kiwi Banana, and today I'm going to talk to you about festivals. So, for myself, I have been to about 14 festivals in the last year while I've recorded this. Um, I guess once this gets uploaded and released, there'll probably be another few more to add to that. And I guess I just want to talk about why I go to them and what kind of festivals I go to, because that can differ a lot. You know, when you think of festival, it can mean a lot of different things for a lot of different people. I guess um, I should note that most of these festivals that I go to, they are ones that I have helped out at or volunteered. Occasionally I'll get a free ticket just from some of the people I know, so that's really nice. But I guess, first, I, um, what kind of festival do I go to? Well, I've been to a few folk ones and a few environmental ones. Um, and you know festivals that I've been doing even before you know this last year they've all been I guess mostly around environmental sort of focused uh, I guess values and I guess my favorite kind of festival to go to is that kind of like less than 3,000 people a little bit kind of duff style that focuses on like lifestyle and um, certain environmental aspects um, don't know what a doof is, well that's generally like an outdoor kind of celebration, usually with electronic music, or no not always, and it kind of let goes, lets go of a lot of, I guess, societal norms around how to celebrate life and what that should look like, and how we should connect. So, why do I go? Well, I guess the recurring theme um, that I notice, not just for myself, but also many others that go, is um, connection so connection with yourself with others and with nature and I guess also some may call it like you know collecting of the tribe collecting of the your vibe <coughs> and I guess it creates space you know obviously for these connections but connections on a deeper level that you may not normally get to experience in other kind of mainstream societal celebrations okay and then another one I guess is quite simple in the fact that I like to dance and uh, I also find it's a really good way to move energy and express yourself with the body so um, it's a fun thing about them of course that I enjoy and so I guess another thing is that I like the fact that you can obviously learn new skills and you can also um, develop new you know you can develop new skills or skills that you already have should I say you can obviously learn uh, new knowledge or you can develop for the knowledge that you have and you can also depending on what it is that you're doing there you can obviously share the knowledge too so you're able to share that with others um, whether that be through a workshop space or just with your communications with other people around you and I guess a lot of that is focused on self-sustainability and what some may call alternative lifestyles and so yeah that's that's a really big up for me um, and that's what it's definitely one of the main things that draws me there and then I guess the last thing I want to talk about sorry I'm itchy back is um, I guess a passion of mine of late and I guess it's encouraging you know, encouraging others to look out for themselves and for others. And I guess in these kind of environments, um, substances and lots of different substances uh, can be consumed. I guess because it's kind of outside of societal norms, um, it can be somewhat encouraging for people to consume lots of different substances. And, you know, we need to look after ourselves if, um, you know, if people in our community are doing things like that. Um, you know, myself obviously I've been sober from alcohol for like five years, I've also been sober from other toxic recreational substances for at least two years and I'll, you know, I'll do videos about those things another day and I will, I'll share those with you. I've done um, videos before about my um, sobriety around alcohol and I, I will actually record a more up to date one as well which it would be really good to share. And so. I guess you could say, um, so I'm in the state of Queensland in Australia at the moment, but there's also been a big shift in a state just south of ours, and that's northern New South Wales, and they've had a really big crackdown on festivals um, with the police. And if we obviously want to keep uh, these kind of celebrations going, 
um, we're going to need to make sure that we look like we know what we're doing and that we do know what we're doing, should I say, um, so that when mainstream society points to us and, and questions what we're doing, we can say that we are looking after ourselves and the land and, um, you know, that we're um, not causing any detriment, I guess you could say, um, to, to the land and to the people. And I guess with my sobriety, it also encourages others to look at what they are consuming. And I quite often get a lot of comments from people that say, oh, look, I, I really want to head in that direction myself. And, you know, I guess it's just getting people to move away from the mentality of needing to consume substances, to socialise and um, to have fun, to actually it's all about... I guess your mindset and obviously working through other uh, things that you may have carried with you in the past so that then you can obviously connect and also have fun without the use of those substances and for myself with obviously um, some of the experience that I've had I find it's very easy to tap into certain emotions and experiences and things that you might experience with substances that, you know that people are striving for and looking for but I can do that without the use of the substances. So um, it's been, it's really good that I can tap into that space and, um, you know, and show others that I'm having lots of fun and I'm really enjoying myself and also educating others about it too, um, you know, and in a much safer way. So, yeah, that, I guess that's my video on, you know, festivals and that are here. I've been doing quite a few of them, I guess you could say, uh, as of late. And, of course, when this video gets released... Um, you know, it's, there's some time delays happening with my content, um, I apologise. You know, I've only sort of just recently finished uh, editing my um, travel content and that was like six months of travel where I was recording nearly every single day and that was released over quite a long period of time. So um, yeah, it may, time may seem a bit distorted in the the recent of my recent content. I apologise that I haven't really recorded much um, festival experiences. I prefer to kind of just be in the moment and um, I guess be as fully present as I possibly can. Um, that may change in the future. Like I have recorded some um, videos, like I did one when I went to Luminate in 2017, um, which is still my favourite festival. I went there again 2019 in New Zealand. So, oh, an amazing, amazing, amazing experience. Anyway. I've also recorded some videos, obviously, like Burning Man, and I've done some, I uh, did one of um, Modifier, so, yeah, it's it's nice to be able to record and share those things, but I have been more of the space that I actually want to be present in, in the moment when I'm going to these events and experiencing all the amazing things that they have to offer. So, yeah, uh, I guess watch the space. I'm hoping to uh, develop more in the area of um, harm reduction and um, especially around substance, uh, sub consuming of substances, especially in those environments as well. And um, I'll keep you updated as, as more projects and that come up. And, you know, I guess sharing of content like that would be good too. Although I am also aware that when you start talking about certain substances, you very likely get your uh, channel kind of flagged. Um, and we won't talk about why that is, but I'm sure you can put kind of two and two together in regards to that. Uh, so yeah, so that's the end of this topic. Well, the end of the video of this topic. You're more than welcome to leave any comments in the comment section down below. I will see you in the next video.